All right. This is 11 signs that you were born to be a loner. So you were born to be the black sheep. This is destined. No need to overthink, overanalyze. This is who you are meant to be. So this is 11 signs. Just stay tuned to the this video. Welcome. If you're new to this channel, make sure you guys drop a like. Also subscribe and check out, you know, the description box where you guys can show love. Practice selflessness right now. All right. In these 11 signs, we're going to start off with number one. The first sign is you are a very private person. If you're a very private person, chances are you are meant to be a loner. This is just this is the cards you were dealt. This is what you were destined to be. So just I would say be who you were meant to be and be it any more than anybody else does. Like you got to be who you were meant to be more than ever. Just be who you're meant to be. OK, and you'll always follow God, God's path. Second, you like to do most things by yourself. If you like to do most things, if you fall into this category, then chances are you are meant to be a loner. It's just the way it is. Third thing is you aren't glued to your smartphone. If you like to be free, keep your head held up. Don't like to really be like all into the social media, hypnotized by like the latest trend going on. Chances are you are meant to be a loner. It's why you, you know, you stand out. It's why people always idolize you or notice you when you come into a room. You are meant to stand tall or stand firm away from others. You were meant to stand away from the crowd. Okay. It's just what it is. The, the uh, next thing it is, you are out of reach for very long periods of time. So you you're this person that typically has an inconsistent being around like one time, like one moment you'll you'll be around the next moment. You won't one moment. You'll be around the next minute. You won't. This means you were born a loner. You are meant to be a loner. You're meant to I wouldn't say die a loner, but you're not meant to be all caught up in like the crowd and the trend. All right. The next one is. You prefer to work as a freelancer. You don't really like to be under another person's like, you know, ruling. You like to create your own environment where you can thrive and rise up. You feel me? And come into, you know, you just like to just be free and do and do your own your own thing. OK, the next thing is you don't like going to social events. You're not really a person that's liking to go to like, you know, the ball, go go to the prom, go to the, you know, the home dance, uh, it's not really your your thing. Chances are you didn't even go to the school dance. You just wasn't that type. You rather just hang out or go work out or go do some like interest in your hobby. You wasn't really into pleasing other people and performing with like you know like minded. You know, well, I, I wouldn't say like minded individual, but you weren't you weren't meant to perform for the crowd. You were meant to stand away from the crowd. Okay. The next thing is your headphones are like your armor. It's just you literally. I just I. Just, Headphones, headphones, you definitely need them. I, I go through them like rice on water, and I'm telling you, it's just something that you need more of. I can have a thousand headphones, and I still need more headphones. All right? You don't like sharing your bed. What? You don't like sharing your bed? All right, I can understand. I don't mind sharing my bed, well, let's just say with the right terminology. But if it's like, well, who else would you share your bed with? I can't even touch touch on that subject. I would have to say no homo. <laughs> I was I would literally have to say no homo after that entire sentence. Well, my next one. Well, we're gonna move on to the next one. Drama isn't your thing. You do not want to argue drama. You is not about to get caught up in it. That is not your forte. You're not gonna argue. You are just not that kind of person. You would rather walk away. You would rather keep your mouth shut than waste egg or exert energy on something that you don't give a shit about. That's not your forte. You don't care about that. All right. You are not meant to argue. You are not meant to argue, uh, yell, scream, fight over a subject, fight over, you know, being right, fight over points, whatever. It's just not your thing. All right. The next one is you enjoy traveling solo. Now, traveling solo has its good, its benefits and its down. All right. You got the right people traveling. So, uh, traveling with other people is fun. It's like minded. But if you ain't got no one of like minded, you know, interest, then traveling solo is the best thing. I traveled solo when I first got out of college for like four or five years by myself. I traveled solo for a long time by myself. It was the best thing. And my point was, I've learned so many things. I was able to be myself and I was the happiest because I didn't have to live under anyone's rooms. I was able to be free. I was able to meet whatever chick I wanted. I was able to go wherever I wanted. I was able to act however I wanted. I didn't have to feel entitled or be under anyone's or feel anyone's mixed emotions or feel anything that I didn't like. It was all me and I loved every moment of it. It was the funnest thing ever. Walking around in new places, going to new, new countries, walking around. You wouldn't even have a can of pissing, but you're still happy. You're still glad to be alive. You're still 
still glad to be up and at it and walking and shit. Everything will always work out. You never thought about a thing. Yeah, because, you know, traveling solo was fun. It was freedom. It was just straight up like, you know what I'm saying? And the, and the last is your happiest alone. Like, you don't mind like-minded in, individuals, but if you don't have it, like I said, again, you're happy alone. If you don't have anyone that's going to lift you up and make you happy, you are happy alone. You're going to make yourself happy. You're going to put greatness and fun into your own reality because that, because you understand you deserve that. It's just what it is. These are the 11 things that you, this, this is why you were born to be a, a, um, a loner. And this is why I just listed 11 reasons why you were born to be a loner. I'm not saying like it could be a girl right here, you know, in your corner, two girls, three girls. That's okay. You're still meant to be a loner. That's different. That's different than a clique, a gang, a group, homies, a pack of people that you always transfer ideas with. Uh, that's different than uh, a group of uh, like-minded uh, in a mastermind group who you feel entitled to share every idea and hobby with. You know, that's different than that. It's when you're a loner, you are meant to make the decisions and build your own. You don't rely on anybody else. Financial, you don't rely on anyone else's. You don't rely on building or anyone else to lead you. Being a loner means you lead yourself, if not other individuals. You feel me? If you fall into this category, then you are meant to be a loner. Yo, I'm KT. Thank you guys. If you, but those who are new to my channel, man, hit that like button, yo. Stay tuned. I got a bunch of other videos for y'all. I was putting up streams uh, before I started releasing these videos. So if y'all want to see some new videos that you haven't seen, go check out my streams. Actually, I'm out there. Re, I'm about to reiterate all the knowledge that I was spitting in the streams and more in these base in, in these regular uploads. So y'all stay tuned for a bunch of new content about to come come to you. All right.